You can follow this video to set up your Nest Wi-Fi if you're completely new to Nest Wi-Fi and did not have Google Wi-Fi. Or you can follow this video to set up Nest Wi-Fi if you have Google Wi-Fi. New video, same day. So I have my power cables and I have my new Nest Wi-Fi router. Um, I'm about to set up my Nest Wi-Fi when I used to have Google Wi-Fi. That's the part that I'm not really certain how it's going to work. I don't know if I need to disconnect that first. I don't know if I just need to plug this in with it. I, I think my, my idea is I'm going to completely disconnect this router. It's the only router I have. Um, and then I'm going to set this up. That's, I, I feel that's the best way to do it. I'm going to give it the same Wi-Fi info and everything. And um, you guys will be with me so that if you have Google Wi-Fi at home and you're switching to the new nice Nest Wi-Fi, you'll know how to do it as well. So let's get started. All right, let's slide this out. Alright, so one thing I promised my queen was that I would move this cable down to here. She, she doesn't like the way the cable looks, which I agree. I just did it because I was being lazy that day. Um, but let's, uh, let's disconnect this Wi-Fi point and get the new one plugged in. Alright, it is uh, all plugged up. I'm going to plug it into power now and then we're going to record the screen record to see how we add this thing. It took me a minute to find a light, but here is the light on the Nest Wi-Fi. So uh, let's get into the app and see how we set this thing up. Oh, okay. Unsupported device. So you don't even use the Google Wi-Fi app. We have to use the Google Home app. All right, that's learning for me 101. So let's set up device. So now we're looking for devices. Let's see if it'll find the Nest Wi-Fi point now. Choose the device I'd like to set up. So there it is, Nest Wi-Fi router. Camera permission, scan the UR code to set up this device. All right. All right, reboot modem, unplug your modem, blah, 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 blah. All right then. So, uh, little explanation. The reason that I chose create a new network is because I'm literally just gonna give it the same name that I had and same password that I had on my old Google Wi-Fi. So by doing that, basically, I should be able to uninstall the Google Wi-Fi app and just never use it again. And all of my devices, once I flip them off and back on, We'll just reconnect to this Wi-Fi access point because it's the same SSID and password. If this doesn't work, I'll have to completely reset it all up, but I'm fairly certain this will work. I've did this many, many times at work when I have had an office with a lot of wireless devices and I didn't want to change their logins, so I just set it up with the same info and then they all reconnect. So I'm pretty confident in this. It had me unplug the modem, so the modem for Comcast is completely unplugged and I'm waiting about two minutes. It said 90 seconds. So I'm waiting about two minutes for that. I'm gonna plug it back in and then get back into the app and see what happens. Comcast modem is plugged back in. So uh, yeah, this should reconnect any moment. All right, it's been a couple of minutes, but this light is white. So that tells me this is up and this is back to pulsating. So let's see what we get in the Google Home app now. So as soon as I came back in, it just started looking for devices. I wasn't even able to click the next button. Yes. Next. Okay, this one now says connected. Where's the location of your Nest Wi-Fi router? Uh, living room. Wi-Fi name. So yes, I want to include that. Sure. Creating Wi-Fi network. So as I mentioned, what I did was I told it that I wanted to create a new network 
and I gave it the exact same SSID, syntax, capitals, etc., as well as the exact same password. So all I should have to do is reboot a couple devices in my house and everything should connect over to the new Google Nest Wi-Fi. And I can say that it looks like to the left of me, my uh, Google Nest Hub Mini is reconnecting to the wireless. So that's, that's a good sign. And there is my kitchen siren back online. So that's another indication that what I have did has worked correctly. I have still not moved from in front of the Nest Wi-Fi point because I'm waiting on this to finish. But devices are already reconnecting. I am still going to reboot a lot of these devices just because that's what I feel I should do because that's what I do in these kind of situations. And there we go. So now it's asking me, do I want to set up another Nest device? I'm going to go ahead and click yes. It's telling me to place my access point somewhere. So I'm going to grab this and uh, make my way upstairs. All right, I now have my Nest. Ooh, that's a nice white glow. Have my Nest Wi-Fi point uh, plugged in. I've already did all of this. So uh, it's going to now look for this device. No devices were found. Well, let's, that's the device booting. Hi, to get started, use the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. Gotcha, Google. Gotcha. There we go. Wi Nest Wi-Fi point found. Scan the QR code. Look at that white. Oh, I like it. Connecting to next Nest Wi-Fi point. Your phone or tablet may disconnect from Wi-Fi during setup. Let me also note that the uh, let me note that the computer that I'm by has already reconnected to the new Wi-Fi, so I haven't even had to restart anything. But I am going to restart all of it. Oh, now it's a blue light. Did I hear that sound? Yes. I agree. Sure, I'm in. Where's this device? This device is in the office. And there we go, adding Wi-Fi point to your Wi-Fi network. All right, the point's been added. And, um, yep, I allow all that because I love my Google Assistant in the house. Voice match, not worried with that. Office Wi-Fi is ready. And no, I don't have another one to set up. So now it's going to test the mesh connection from downstairs to upstairs. Let's see what this looks like. Mesh test complete. And it tells me that it has a great connection to the office. And now it's going to download an update. So that's it. That's how you switch from a Google Wi-Fi to a Nest Wi-Fi. I think it's rebooting and doing its update, but look at that glow. It turns blue. I really dig it, Google. I really dig it. Well, I think that will do it for the setup video. So um, that is how that you would set up your Nest Wi-Fi. And to be honest, that is how you would set up your Nest Wi-Fi if you were completely new to it. So you can follow this video to set up your Nest Wi-Fi if you're completely new to Nest Wi-Fi and did not have Google Wi-Fi or you can follow this video to set up Nest Wi-Fi if you have Google Wi-Fi. Now, uh, basically that was pretty simple. I think since they moved it into the other app, it made it a lot easier. I'm basically just gonna get rid of my Google Wi-Fi app, connect the uh, access point, which is already disconnected. My other two are already disconnected. So at this point, my Nest Wi-Fi is set up and uh, it seems to be working. So we're gonna do um, some speed test in the next video. So uh, stay tuned for that one. And uh, if you can, click that like button and click subscribe down in the corner. And we'll see you in the next video. Deuces. <coughs> Debbie, there's nothing over here. <coughs> there's nothing over here. I don't see a ball over here or anything.
Don't dig. <laughs>